quick before I get started. Started a new job, started school. I've been doing a lot, so it's it's been a pause on this. And I said it would be a pause on it. I know I don't get enough views, but you know, if there's any question of inconsistency, change in life. But let's get into it. Now, I think Chad, Chadians want France out of their country after French soldier took out a local. Makes sense. Uh, what's been going on with Africa and France is they've been pushing them out too as well, especially with the king. You see, even though they didn't like the English Empire being in Africa, Nigeria, places like that, they still dealt with uh, the queen because she was so-called nicer. But it didn't mean that laws and other stuff wasn't being implemented. So ever since Charles uh, switched over, they've been more vocal about it. Because, look, Let's be honest, he's a man. So if he does things a certain way and, he, and he's about it, he's going to do it. But if he's not about it, you know, there's no, there's no pussyfooting around a man and, and handling business. But I, I'm not that full digressed, but just digress from the argument. Let's, let's get into this. It's no. They have. Now, I'm going to stop right here. They said neo-colonization because they do things slightly differently. Just because they're not killing them 24-7, cutting off limbs, doing stuff, does not mean that they don't have things implemented. They have to hide things because they have to be better at hiding things because they want to seem more humane. They're trying to hide their nature by using same-on-same uh, -same violence, but in cases like this where they can't try to use black on black violence as an excuse, it, it's really harder for them to try to do something against the people. Now, again, normally they put corrupt leaders in and that's all you hear about it. So they're, they're you know, they, it's getting to a point. And this is NATO. France is with NATO. So it's only giving more power to the opposing side. And, you know, with honestly, America not being willing to listen, France not being willing to listen, UK not being willing to listen while implementing all of these things that ultimately hurt anyone who's this skin color or this man's skin color, you know, they're making it harder for themselves because, look, I know we're not going to get reparations, but in America, they keep trying to use reparations. It's not going to work. Who, what man, honestly, it's getting to a point. Men don't want to build, black men don't want to build in this country almost anymore. They'll try to do whatever they can to become successful, but as for building and sticking with, if you're, if you're not a street head person or a street, someone who's in the street, something like that, you got common sense about you, you're starting to realize and see the problem for what it is.
us working with them has only made our women hate us more. And I'm not talking about the whole fetish things where they talk about the dating market. I'm talking about in deep root community, our women hate us. Who would want this? And, and in places like this, smaller places where, you know, they're dealing with the struggle a lot more, even though they don't have too much of that going on, they still, uh, they still address that this side, NATO, whatever, is the issue. Now, I'm not saying I'm against NATO or nothing like that, but I'm saying they're obviously not giving or offering the best deal here. So, obviously, I'm, with the chattings, they're going to go out. I wanted to save my piece before uh, he said his piece. Because I don't want to seem like I'm copying him, even though I react to him. That's good. That's unity. All around the world. Yeah. He's in Sudan. I know it's coming up. Yo, check this dude out. Even though he's from Sudan, look at the variations in dark skinned people. And he in these uh in the last three people interviewed. They try to say we all look the same. No, we don't. This guy looks almost, aside from being dark, he almost looks Dominican. You know, I don't know his lineage, but it's just like we, we, we show variation. I just wanted to say that real quick. Yep. Talking biblically, he is absolutely correct. And the truth of the matter is, is the bigger issues, they will say compromise when it is no compromise. Over here in America, they can legally kill us whenever they want to. Now, now that I know the Lord and I understand my connection, find out that I'm an Israelite, I don't fear their judgment as much. Because they're allowed to make corrupt judgment because they're not the chosen ones. 
One of the unspoken laws throughout the Bible is that you're not supposed to make bad judgment. You're not. As a human being, as a good human being, you're not supposed to make bad judgment. God doesn't like people who are quick to make bad judgment. E even, when, uh, even when Peter uh, spoke bad to Jesus, it, it, not Peter, but it was one of his disciples. Yeah, it was Peter. When he spoke bad to Jesus about his prophecy at the table, he was quick to say the devil was on Peter. The devil can get on anyone. However, we hone ourselves and we make sure that we don't pass bad judgment. Everyone who's, you know, not the skin color, they have no issues passing bad judgment. I'm not saying we can't go to the same depths of sin, don't get me wrong. But altogether, they, they, they will never lose sleep at night if you know who their identity is. And, and you understand that this is their kingdom that's supposed to fall. We, we have no part in it. America was a black kingdom before they, you know, <laughs> before they said everyone came from Africa. Mm -mm. You, can, you can compromise with them if you want. I, I, I got to look over my shoulders regardless, no matter where I go into, even if it's a black owned place now. Yeah. Now, for what's going on here, you see, this is why I got to pause. This is why I normally pause just because or stop. But yeah, I 100% agree, you know, with, with their countries. Because look, we did not give this land per se over to them. They just kind of squatted here and used enough force and power and corruption until they took everything. That's why they laugh at black indigenous, even though there are black indigenous people here and they refuse to acknowledge it. That was the goal. I'm black indigenous and even though I'm black indigenous, they have put laws and made it harder for me to uh, be, be black indigenous, live as a black indigenous person. Now, if I say I'm African-American, I can get benefits. I can get stuff from it but I can't get anything from being black indigenous. It's harder to prove you're black indigenous. They haven't allowed all of the tribes who are black indigenous to exist. And they, they do that with a purpose because they're pushing a history in their uh, narrative and history about what black people are. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, again, the fact that they don't lose sleep at night and they're okay with doing it and they're okay with corrupting other people Biblically, you know who they are. Pay attention to their nature and their attitude in the Bible and you start to see who they are. And I'm not saying again that anyone of skin color is not capable of sin, but we're capable of good as well as our connection to God. I would say more good because of our connection to God. But I'm going to go ahead and stop in this one right here.